Hi, I'd like to talk about a subculture called steampunk. Just a quick note, some may be unfamiliar with the term steampunk. If you think leather corsets for women and think Johnny Depp in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where he wears the big top hat and those big driver's goggles, now add some dark metal like bronze and copper to the outfits and you should start to get an idea of what steampunk looks like. On a basic level, steampunk is a creative movement that has been growing in popularity since the term was coined around 1987 by sci-fi author K.W. Jetta, who was looking for a way to distinguish himself from the cyberpunk writers like William Gibson, whereas cyberpunk is a genre of science fiction that is set in a lawless society dominated by computer technology at the expense of social order. Steampunk is more of a lifestyle that embraces creativity by using old technology, like the mechanics that ran watches and the steam engines that were used to propel trains, um, all to work modern day technology like computers and airplanes. Steampunk was inspired by industrialized Western civilization during the 19th century as well as the Victorian age. You could say it's like retro-futuristic inventions as people of the 19th century might have envisioned them. Although the term was not coined until about 1987, the look and ideas have been in existence since at least the 1960s. Some examples of steampunk style visions were written about and in movies by Jules Verne, uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Around the World in 80 Days and H.G. Wells, who wrote The Time Machine and War of the Worlds. Other instances of steampunk visions were in the Wild Wild West movie with Will Smith, um, all the mechanical machines like the big uh, mechanical spider. Uh, the original Wild Wild West TV series with the character Artemis Gordon, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The steam in steampunk is in reference to the steam engines of the locomotives in the 1800s. The punk and steampunk can be thought of as going against conventionality, but in a creative way, while declaring one's own individuality. Rather than letting technology take over our lives, you can go back to the basics, so to speak. One main aspect of steampunk is being a do-it-yourselfer. It's about getting your hands dirty and mixing the old with the new, taking the modern technology and fusing it with the design aesthetic and philosophy of the Victorian age. Steampunk is starting to creep, creep into various areas, including fashion, music, and art. Fashion is probably the most predominant aspect one notices. Men will, as mentioned earlier, tend to wear vests, top hats, uh, driving or flying type goggles, but made of metal. The women will sometimes wear leather corsets over button-down frilly Victorian style shirts. Uh, both will usually have some metal gadgets. The more hardcore steampunkers will have gears and gizmos that actually perform a function rather than simply for aesthetics. Over the years, steampunk has evolved for many followers from being a genre of science fiction to becoming a lifestyle. People who follow the lifestyle believe that there is a pure nature that can be intertwined with the current technology of today. There are steampunk artists who will take modern technology, such as computer keyboards for instance, and give it an industrial appearance by using materials such as wood, copper, brass, rivets, and glass to create an antiqued appearance. They believe the wood, metal, and other materials make the objects appear more permanent than the plastic normally used today. Part of the steampunk philosophy involves going back to a time when things were much simpler. A handshake was just as good as a contract, and someone's word was highly valued. Thanks for watching.